All right, hi guys. So today I want to tell you a little bit about a new feature on the platform called the feedback feature. And the idea is that it's going to, it's a, it's a tool basically to give you some feedback on your performance during the meeting. Uh, it's not perfect, but I do think it is quite useful and it will get better. So let me tell you a little bit about how it works step by step. Okay, so on the on the site, uh, normally after you attend a meeting, you will see an expired button. The meeting is done, but now from now on, after a meeting, if you've attended a meeting, you will instead see a feedback upload button. Okay, that is the first thing. This is where you start the procedure to get your feedback. Now, if you click on this, it's going to take you to the feedback upload page. On this page, this is where you will upload your Zoom transcript from the meeting that you've attended. Now, I made a separate tutorial on how to get the Zoom transcript. I'll post a link in the description uh, and you can, you can check it out there, but I'm not gonna go over it in this video. Basically, you get your Zoom transcript from your meeting. Um, here is mine. And you put the name that you had as you had it exactly in the meeting. And you click on Analyze. Now, this takes up to a minute right now. It's super slow for some reason that we're still working on. Uh, but I'm going to speed up the time. And then... Uh, it takes like a minute, like 45 seconds. I'll see you in 40 seconds. All right, so there you have it. The analysis is complete. Now, what do you get? What kind of feedback do you get? There are two parts to the feedback. The first part is basic text analysis. Uh, it's going to analyze the complexity of the vocabulary that you used during the meeting. So words are ranked from A1, the most basic, to C2, the most advanced. And here you have your transcript from your meeting. You can see all of it if you like. Basically everything that you said during the meeting and it's um, yeah basically you have three parts you have the complexity ranking you have percentage of you know long words short words and words per sentence uh, long sentences short sentences basically this is the first part um, yeah just kind of cool basic and the second part is recommendations uh, generated by chat GPT if you don't know what chat GPT here is you can click here there is some info on what it is basically it is a large language model it's a AI chat bot and it uh, does some things pretty well especially when it comes to language so we basically you will get some recommendations from chat GPT it will look at some of the sentences that you use during the meeting it will suggest corrections and vocabulary that you could have used um, I wish I could remember the person's name. I wish I could recall the person's name. So it corrects the sentence and suggests some vocabulary. And this is uh, the second part. So first part, text analysis. Second part, chat GPT recommendations um, and some cool vocabulary, potentially. You can only upload once per meeting. And that score that you see at the top is mostly based on the complexity. I wouldn't pay too much attention to the score. Think of it more as just a complexity score, but it does not necessarily reflect on the quality of your English. It does not look at grammar, for example, constructions. It's basically looking at complexity. Um, and that's, uh, that's about it. That's the information that it provides. After, of course, you've... Um, seen this feedback if you want to go back and that's kind of the idea if you want to go back and see your previous performances uh, you can either go through the link here or you can go back in the timetable and click here 
and it will take you to your summary page basically and here you will have all of your past performances uh, you can view the chat gpt recommendations only for the last 14 days at the moment this might change in the future but for now you can see the last 14 days uh, of recommendations and uh, the idea is that you get to see your performance through time i think uh, i think that that would be pretty cool to see you know maybe not every meeting but i think um to see where you were at six months ago and today you know like you can maybe over time see that progression anyway i i thought it'd be a cool tool and um it's done so here it is a couple of notes about limitations now there are two main i think limitations the first one is zoom transcripts are based on the captions that it will uh, take during the, the meeting and your accent or your pronunciation may greatly affect the quality of the transcript so if the transcript is not very accurate then the analysis of course will not be very accurate um, and second about privacy the um, we keep basically only this data and the transcript uh, the ChatGPT recommendations for two weeks. That's it. We do not store transcripts. We do not store your conversations. I just wanted to make that super clear. Mm, yeah, I think that's about it. Let me know if you have any questions, of course. Uh, you can uh, put it in the comments or you can reach me on the platform and uh, I'll see you in the meetings. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye, everyone.